It's extremely exciting. Uh, in my lectures, a lot of there are always young people uh, in the audience, and they always want to know when they're bringing it back, you know. And I always say, I don't think ever. <laughs> I think NASA, you know, they realizes that they have two marks, so to speak, but somehow they can be made to coexist. We had to analyze what had been done by NASA in the past. Finally, we realized. So we had to have a unifier, something that was very strong, hold it all together. So over the process of working on it, over the first month, I think we got simpler and simpler with our solutions so that it would work miles away on a, a T-38 or a rocket or a space shuttle. We were trying to embody in the, in the logo innovation, um, you know, the organization still had uh, aeronautics as well as space. And so that you see a kind of a nose cone design inside of the A's and uh, propulsion, kind of upward thrust. Great simplicity, but, but still um, movement. Roger all, Discovery. The term warm came out of Florida and a newspaper down there. And it was meant to be derogatory, and I thought I personally thought it was very derogatory. And eventually, over the years, uh, the worm became a term of endearment, but it wasn't meant that at all in the beginning. When they started um, producing apparel a couple of years ago, they found out how young people, in particular, really like this program, and uh, and so they've allowed it to kind of come back to life on its own. validation, I think, of the sort of timeless approach that we brought to this space is about the future and, and if we can still hang in there and if it still represents that, then it's, it's quite a victory, I think. You know, aesthetics aside, uh, the goal was to do that to hold up for decades and apparently it's, still, uh, it's got better legs today than it did then.